father was my friend. What do you want from me? I want to help you. Funny. Y'all up for dessert? Why don't you put yourself on a plate and squeeze whipped cream all around? <laughs> Wipe your chin, buddy. Come and get it. Let Charlie hear you. What's he gonna do? Arrest me? 60 seconds, Laurie. What would I do without you, buddy? <laughs> See you tomorrow, Louie. What tomorrow? It ain't six. Ten, ten nine, nine, eight, seven, six. six Five, four, three, two, one, bingo! Ah. <laughs> Good night, Louie. Ah, Vern, Vern, Vern. Good night, Shoot. Uh, okay, that's another two bits, yo. One of these days he'll be late. <laughs> Have a flat tire or something. <laughs> Boys doing their thing inside? They don't mean nothing, honey. Give him a laugh, right? Don't you expect me to agree with you when you put yourself down? You want me to fix you something to eat at my house? Charlie? No, I got half a sandwich left over from lunch. Thought I'd just drive you home. You can come by later tonight? Don't get off till midnight. I'll leave the porch light on. <laughs> la, la, la. Camping the greatest or what? This body is not comfortable sleeping on the ground. Yeah, well, neither is this body. But a motel costs, and all we've got is eating money. Well, when Monday comes, we'll pick up the check at the post office that Liz sent. And we're gone. We're history. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? We're gone. We're history. I don't remember. Probably from you. This sure is beautiful country. Yeah, it's cold, too. I hope the fire doesn't go out. I used our last match. Well, if it does, don't worry about it. I can start it again. Your magic marble, I forgot. It's not magic. I do love you, Lord. I wish you loved yourself, Charlie. I'm okay. I know that. Got a future ahead of you. Your promotion's almost here. Everybody loves you. <laughs> You're a fixture in town. You're like the old oak and other things. <laughs> yeah. Pool hall, the diner, the gas station. 
always manage to find a joke when I try to talk serious about us. That promotion comes through. Then we could talk serious. Damn it, Charlie. I love you. Not for what you do, for who you are. You are real, Charlie. You are not some comic book hero. I gotta get back on patrol. Good idea. Who knows what you might find out there? Well, you might find uh, Jimmy Hoffa or Judge Crater. You might find the ghost of Bonnie and Clyde. Turn off. I think showers are a good idea. I love water. What was it? Did you see it? Oh, it was fantastic. It must have been 30 foot across. What was? Are you kidding? Up there. Spinning like a top. A whole bunch of them. Bunch of what? Lights, man. Blue lights. Spinning blue lights. Scott? Uh-uh. Wait a minute. You told me you didn't see anything? Oh, you had to have seen them there, right over there. Or over there. No way you could miss them. Huh? I'm sorry. I don't get it. Captain, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Guess I'll just have me a look around. Good evening. Good evening. Thought we'd had it there for a minute. Did you have anything to do with what he saw? Who, me? He seemed very sure that he saw something. Oh, well, you know, uh, the water uh, sometimes reflects things, plays tricks. Are you playing a trick? Come on, Dad, I already told you no. Can we eat dinner now?
Quite shift? Pretty much. You're sure writing a bunch. Just doing my job, Kelly. Blue lights? What kind of blue lights? Just what it says. Don't make sense. I just write down what I see. Unusual occurrence. I don't have to explain it. Two campers, you get their names? I know where they are. Charlie, not that it's any of my business, but you know those square heads up at County. They read this, I mean, it, it sounds like you're saying you saw a flying saucer. Nothing in here like that. I saw spinning blue lights. I wrote spinning blue lights, period. Johnny Carson show? Oh, I thought for sure more like believe it or not. Don't you just love small towns? You can't sneeze without everybody blowing your nose for you. Lori. Mm-hmm. Charlie really see a flying saucer? Don't you start. <whistles> Any seat's okay. View is all the same. Ladies, Thank ladies, you. this is not a debutante ball here. Let's get these puppies moving. Hold your water, Louie. You think it's easy being a world-class uh -huh. chef when I'm surrounded with assassins? Thank you. Yo, rigor mortis and spuds! it's just doing fine. Yo, floppers, naked! Fishing pole. Can you put a fish? Thank you. I don't see any rigor mortis and spuds on this one. How about on yours? Nope. Yo, bowl of fire. We're talking the kitchen sink. Charlie, burn. Charlie, there was a fellow in here earlier looking for you. Yeah, he was about that high, sort of green, had antennas growing out of his head. Said he met you last night. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Didn't get a chance to ask you last night. Mind if I sit down? You gonna be around long? Uh, till Monday. We're gonna pick up a check at the post office. That a fact? How come you picked this town for a mail drop? This is where we are. A little off the beaten Yo, track, eh? burger! Ain't? Piggies aboard! Say, I forgot to ask you. You mind giving me your names? Why? Maybe I want to send you a Christmas card. We don't have to give you our names, so we haven't broken any laws. You say a no to my request? I'm Paul Forrester, and this is my son, Scott. Two hours. We still haven't done anything. You didn't say you had, son. I may be a hick deputy in a backwash county, but there's one thing I know is people. And I say you're not telling everything you know about last night. I don't know why that is, but I mean to find out. What? Yes, exactly. What? Are we fire from in there? Yeah. I can't believe you gave a cop our names. Let's talk about why I told him. Tell me about last night. I told you. I remember. Now tell me what you didn't tell me. Yeah, hold, hold one second. Federal 
Federal Security Agency. Yeah, hello. I'm trying to reach a George Fox. Our regular office hours are 830 to 530, Monday through Friday. Thank you. If you only had enough money for bus fare. You have exactly $6.18. Is that right? What are you looking at? Bus fare. It's called pool. The idea is to knock the ball in those holes on the table with one of those sticks. It's all on the wrist. The game's eight ball. One player's got solids, the other's got stripes. Who's ever got one kind, it's knocked them all in, then the eight ball. But you can't drop the white ball, especially when you're shooting for the eight ball. Well, that's called a scratch and you lose. But the other way, you win. You'll be home free. Home free. Just watch what they do and do the same. Scratch shot, buddy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Lucky dog. <laughs> Hi, is uh, Bill Nelson working today? This is an old friend of his, Charlie Ewing. I'll give you editorial. Thank you. Are you sure this will work? You know what you're doing. Just use the silver sphere. We can't lose. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> what? No, it's, uh, what do you call it, uh, simple geometry. Right. <laughs> Pleasure, Vern, as always. In practice. Mm. That's twenty-three dollars. We'll forget about the cents. Anybody else want to get skinned? Not me. Mm -hmm. Well, howdy. Well, howdy. Well, what's your game, friend? Uh, my game's pool. Eight ball. Uh, his game's eight ball. What you got there? Six bucks. I'll take a part of that. Count me in for a taste. All right. You sure you don't want to up the bet? Oh, no, thank you. That'll be enough. Why don't you break? <laughs> Whatever you say, kid. Yo, buddy. Four stripes. Well, your stripes. Your mother teach you that one, buddy. Be quiet, Vern. Should we get them all in with one shot? No. Uh, one at a time. Are we going to do this today or what? Thank you. Problem, buddy. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna scratch. Oh, man, look. Two stars there. Good luck. Who is this guy? Oh, no. Man, three cushions. You do have a problem, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dig this guy. He's going for the other ball. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> 
Go away. I got money says he won't even come close. This is a for sure scratch. He's gonna scratch. I love it. You look who got skin. Home free. Maybe not, mister. Real shark, huh? Boys, I do believe you have been hustled. Why don't you two step on outside where we can talk a bit? Thank you. I know who you are. You know who we are? I called a newspaper friend of mine and found some old clippings about you, about George Fox. Putting two and two together wasn't hard. That's a great cover, that photographer business. And the boy here camping with him, perfect. Even though that story about picking up a check was kind of weak. What are you talking about? I know that George Fox and the FSA are investigating possible alien life. Why didn't you identify yourself as one of his agents? Why didn't I? Exactly. I figure you're here to check in those blue lights. Lights I saw, remember? Now tell me, who else has seen them? Airline pilots, how many reports you've been getting? Is there any danger? Uh, that's, uh, like, secret stuff. Oh, come on, you could tell me. Is it what I think it is? Look, we're on the same side here, aren't we? I mean, half the town thinks I made it up. I tell you the truth, they're kind of amused. OK, you're right. Uh, I lied. You did see the blue lights. <laughs> I knew it. I don't suppose there's a shot of you telling a couple of people around here about I, I didn't think so. Secret stuff. Mr. Fox? Sure. No. Mr. Fox? Ted, what do you got? I thought you'd want to know. The NCIC kicked out an inquiry on your red flag. Why did you say so? All right, how do I get there? I booked us to LA. There'll be a rental car waiting. You know what they're saying in there? They're saying you might not get your promotion because it is. That's ridiculous. I'd say it's exactly the opposite. What do you mean? I can't tell you. All I can say is that I have information that those blue lights I saw is part of a story that's going to blow everybody's mind all over the world. And I'm part of it. Okay, Charlie. I gotta go back in. See you at six. I'll be there. Okay. Urgent call for you. Man said he was from Washington, D.C. like running like this. Seems like a decent man. He's a cop and he knows about Fox. I know. But it's our fault he's having trouble with the people in this town. Because of us, they think he's a joke. They'll forget, really. We're the ones in danger. Son, give me a ride in the back. Mr. Forrester can ride up front. Hot, ain't it? 
I've complained about the air conditioner in this bucket of bolts. A lot of good it's done. Looks like y'all are moving on. Yeah, well, uh, there's nothing happening here. I mean, we investigated the entire area. Probably blue lights and stuff in the next county. Wouldn't be a bit surprised. You know, it's such a nice day. How about it, Scott? Why don't we walk? I don't know what trouble you're in with the government, this man Fox wouldn't say, but I know what trouble you're in right here. Nobody likes to be made a fool of. And for my money, you're the last straw. Oh, I'm sure there will be more. Funny man. If he knew who you were, he'd die. I hope not. Something about him I like. He made me empty my pockets and put everything into an envelope. What about you? Well, I've still got it. I guess he thought it was a marble. Good. And we'll leave late tonight. Accident and I'm starving. Oh, wish I'd known. I brought you something. Everything quiet? Yep. Well, why don't you take on off? I'm gonna be here. Gotta feed them inside anyway. You sure? Yeah. Listen, if you're going to the Red Barn, skip the meatloaf. I think I saw part of a sock in it. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. You bet. like hamburgers. Yes. Thank you. How much money do I owe you? Nothing. Compliments of the county. Just for the hell of it, are you a spy or what? I never saw a flyer on you. What do you want it for? For being myself. Serves me right for asking. Think about what you want it to do. Picture it happening in your mind. I am. Concentrate. You can do it. Just relax and focus. I can't do it. You do it. I've got to see this fear. Fixing it so that I can see the sphere. It's like shooting pool, everything has angles. Hold out the sphere.
Run! Go on! I won't hurt you. The truth is, I couldn't if I wanted to. Now. Who are you? Paul Forrester. Not after what I just saw. Well, you might say that I'm the blue lights. Oh, my God. You're it. You're the thing. Excuse me? The alien. The one Fox has been after. I've been laughing at him, too. Oh, man. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Well, you could give me back my silver spear and let me go. I'm really a very peaceful thing. What happened if I shot you? It would hurt. I'd bleed. This body would die. And my son would have no one to protect him. Is he also like you? His mother's from Wisconsin. Very beautiful. We don't know where she is, but we're trying to find her. Are you going to shoot me? Not unless I have to. Oh, you gods. Who's going to believe this? We both know who. It's how much time? Uh, about three hours from the airport. No kingdom for a chopper. What? Shakespeare. William? Yes. Richard III, as a matter of fact, who actually said... Read the play. Deputy Ewing. Charlie, honey. Can't talk now, Lori. I'll call you in the morning. Wait a minute, Charlie. Charlie, are you all right? Charlie. I made up my mind. As soon as it gets light, we're going for a ride. Is my son all right? I don't know. But you're the one I got. And you're the one I'm hanging on to. Charlie? What are you doing here? You think you can just shine me on like that on the phone? I don't worry. Lori, you gotta trust me. I am onto something so big, so wild. I'm driving to Los Angeles with a prisoner. I'm going to meet a plane from Washington, D.C. and delivering my prisoner to the United States government. And when I do, this town's going to brag forever that they knew Charlie Ewing. Charlie, I've never seen you like this. You're scaring me. You don't know what scared is. Laura, you worried about our promotion? I'm telling you, by tomorrow, I'm going to be on every television station and every newspaper and magazine in the world. Charlie, what's the matter with you, huh? If you knew who I have locked up back there, you'd understand. Well, all right. No, no. It's dangerous. Charlie, who's back there? Charlie, who is it? OK, but you can't say anything, understand? I swear you won't say anything. Nobody sure. knows. They even sent the sure. night man away. Sure, Charlie, I swear. Just quiet down. Got an alien back there. 
Call the immigration service. Not from there. <laughs> from there. From another planet. Another world. An E.T. God. Charlie, I love you. We all love you. You don't believe me. No, I do. I do believe you. You're acting like you no. don't. No, I do, Charlie. Sit down, Charlie. Charlie, there's, there's a lot of pressure on you, and I, I see that now, and I'm so sorry because I, I should have seen it before. All right. Look. Look. Yo, rigor mortis and spuds. Flappers naked. Charlie, I'm gonna go home now. And I'm gonna make some tea. And uh, I'm gonna call Bill, or whoever it is that's supposed to work tonight. And I'm gonna tell him to come on back by. And when he gets here, you are gonna come to my house and then we're just going to talk, quiet like. I'm taking my prisoner to Los Angeles. There's a man there who knows I'm telling the truth, Lori. Oh, Charlie, you're around the bend. And I'm going to bring you back on the road, quietly, with no one else on it. I can't take the way they treat you now. And I'm not taking the chance of this getting out. I'm not gonna let you out of my sight from now on. Okay. Why don't you show me how you can let yourself out of there? Okay. Give me the keys. Uh -uh. Not like that. The alien way with uh, the force or something. The force? Yeah, like that. Oh, that. can't. Why not? No more force. You mean you can't do anything else weird? How about this? Miss? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Don't. Don't I know you? I didn't know who else to talk to. Uh, the sheriff locked my dad up, and he didn't do anything. Your dad? Is he a... Uh, is there anything unusual about your dad? No. He's a great guy. Completely normal. I don't believe it. Okay, so maybe he's got a strange sense of humor, but uh, otherwise oh, he's... Oh, no, no, I, I meant Charlie, the sheriff. L listen, what were you and your dad doing in town, anyway? Well, he's kind of in between assignments. Assignments? Yeah, he's a photographer. Uh, we were supposed to pick up some money. For a newspaper? Yeah, uh, and magazines, all the big ones. Uh, not to mention all his friends in the television networks, too. Television? Oh, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. Charlie, I can't let you go through with this. You've got to let them go. Don't stand so close. They may not be dangerous, but they're still prisoners. M Mister, I I'm real sorry about this mix-up. These two are going with me. I want you to go on home. We'll talk about this when I get back. Lori, Lori, what are you doing? 
You come uh, back here and unlock the door right best now. You'll be Lori? on your way now. Lori? I'm real sorry, but things worked out mind, this way Lori. for you. You hear me? So am I. Lori, honey, you don't know what you're doing. Now, you let me out of these cuffs you immediately. You won't hear what say I'm saying anything to, you? to those TV people, will you? No matter what else we are in our private lives, I'm a police officer. TV. You gotta let me out of here. Lori, honey, there's still time. The kids in Kelly's death. I think we'd better get going. I'll talk to him about it. Lori, you gonna let me out of these handcuffs? Honey, you're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble because of this. Charlie never meant any harm. Don't do this to me! I know. Neither did I. Mom, we're history here. We're not history yet. Why not? You know why not. Okay, let me go now. If I let you go, what'll you do? I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. Anything anymore. Charlie. It's all right. They were never really here. Charlie's in trouble down there. Yeah, well, it wasn't exactly my fault either. He's gonna get hurt some more. Besides, what can we do about it now? Charlie, even if they were what you thought, it still wouldn't matter. You are the one that I believe in. I always will. Charlie, what if they were what you thought they were? That's right. <laughs> I, what? Just... what was that? Look! Let's get down there. Gentlemen, my name is George Fox. I'm with the Federal Security Agency. Now, what I want are two things. I want first someone to find Deputy Ewing for me, and then I want to take a full and complete statement from everyone who saw... Charles Ewing? Yes, sir. Good. All right, now, Sheriff, you know why I'm here. So let's begin with you. I want you to tell me, for the record, in your own words, exactly what you saw. What 
exactly are you talking about, mister? The blue lights up in the sky about 15 minutes ago? Quiet. Lights? Up in the sky? Sheriff, you couldn't have missed them. They were right over your head. You couldn't have missed them. Okay, now just settle down, mister. What do you mean, mister? I'm George Fox, Sheriff. Well, why don't you tell me what you think you saw? Fifteen minutes ago, huh? blue lights, a ring of blue lights, a hundred feet across, hovering over the town. Over the town? Yes, sir. Anything else? Oh. <laughs> 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 